The Midwest Soil Remediation Equipment Fleet consists of both small and large mobile processing units. This wide range of process capability allows Midwest Soil Remediation to remediate contaminated sites ranging from 1,000 tons to 1 million tons at consistently low economic levels. Our new CMI Corporation EnviroTech mobile unit is one of the highest process capacity systems in existence today. Most conventional thermal soil remediation systems offered today are restricted to processing gasoline and diesel contaminated soil only, which makes them ineffective in combating other types of contaminants that are prevalent today. Midwest Soil Remediation has once again taken a bold step with the addition of the EnviroTech Soil Remediation System designed, built, and backed by CMI Corporation of Oklahoma City. Midwest Soil Remediation Systems meet and exceed all state and federal non-hazardous soil treatment and emission levels for non-hazardous contaminants, including oil well crude, fuel oil, coal tar pitch, lube oils, and jet fuel, just to name a few. The EnviroTech process begins with the receipt of contaminated soil in the primary feed hopper designed to remove all incoming disposable debris and reduce aggregate size to 8 inches or smaller. The soil is fed into the hopper by front end loaders and passes through an 8 inch heavy duty grizzly bar screen which rejects debris in large aggregate which must be crushed before processing. The soil proceeds through the hopper onto the transfer conveyor which feeds the 4 inch scalping screen. The soil then proceeds to another transfer conveyor which feeds the 2 inch scalping screen. In the metal removing system, the conveyor belt head pulley contains an electromagnet which captures all ferrous metals left in the soil as the belt moves over the magnet. The metal clings to the belt as it moves over the magnetized head pulley and then releases as the belt moves away from the magnetic pulley. The metal then falls into a chute for removal. The 2 inch incline scalping screen is designed to reject all aggregate that is 2 inches or larger. These portions of the incoming soil mix should be crushed or shredded prior to processing. The transfer conveyor passes over a dual idler in motion belt way scale which has an electronic remote operator readout and a recorder to log all soil tonnage entering the process. The recorder will data log hourly, daily, weekly and monthly totals for manifest and permanent records. Soil less than two inches in size travels by transfer conveyor to a slinger conveyor feeding the system's rotary disorber. The rotary thermal disorber can elevate soil temperatures to a level necessary to convert all contaminants in the soil, liquid and solid, into a vapor state for removal by way of the exhaust gas stream. The rotary disorber is of counterflow design and can process soil at a capacity ranging from 50 to 160 tons per hour, depending upon moisture content and type of contaminant. For optimum efficiency, the desorber separates the thermal remediation process into three distinct operational zones within the rotary treatment vessel. The drying zone, the heating zone, and the burn zone. It is within the burn zone that a special high temperature stainless steel alloy combustion liner and abrasion resistant stainless steel tumbler flights are used. They resist wear and provide outstanding conductive heat transfer properties upon contact with preheated contaminated soil. Energy recovery sciences are employed to reduce fuel consumption by using ambient air injection between the stainless steel liner and the carbon steel outer shell. This induced air injection feature allows the preheating of combustion air as it cools the alloy liner. Combustion efficiency is greatly enhanced with preheated air and heat drawn from the backside of the liner and utilized within the desorber. The result is a burn zone that efficiently elevates soil temperatures as high as 1200 degrees Fahrenheit if required to achieve complete destruction of all hydrocarbons that remain after contaminated soil has passed through the drying and heating zones. The rotary disorber is equipped with variable speed control and variable slope control.
to permit soil retention time to vary from 8 minutes to 20 minutes to assure the complete remediation of all hydrocarbons regardless of weight and density. The thermal dust conductor receives the high temperature soil from the desorber and mixes with the dust collected in the fabric filter bag house. The dust is thermally remediated by dwelling with the high temperature soil in a tumbling mode. Using conductive heat transfer to vaporize all remaining hydrocarbons in the dust before they exit the conductor. The vaporized hydrocarbons are then ducted back into the desorber combustion zone for elimination. The fabric filter Rotoair bag house is equipped with filter bags that trap dust as the 500 degree Fahrenheit gas stream is drawn inside by an exhaust fan. As dust is trapped on the outside of the bags, the clean air exits the unit from inside the bags and is directed to the thermal oxidizer. The thermal oxidizer receives the 500 degree Fahrenheit dust-free air stream from the fabric filter bag house and the gases enter the combustion zone of the thermal oxidizer. The combustion system will elevate the gas stream from 500 degrees Fahrenheit to as high as 1800 degrees Fahrenheit and retain the gases for a period of one second within the destruct zone. This is the necessary time and temperature to destroy all organic compounds and hydrocarbon vapors contained in the gases. Due to the highly abrasive nature of hot soils and aggregates, care has been taken to assure that the transfer of hot soil is achieved by high lift gravity flow into succeeding processing equipment. This design eliminates the maintenance expense and potential problems that can occur when hot soil is moved by motorized conveying devices. Because cold soil handling is considerably less abrasive than superheated soil, motorized conveyors are used only on the cold areas of the Envirotech system. The rotary soil cooler receives the hot soil from the thermal dust conductor and using screw flights advances the material to the three stages of water injection. Each water injection stage has volume flow control to administer the correct amount of water needed into each stage depending upon soil temperature. As the temperature is reduced, water volume is increased for rapid cooling and rehydration. The cold rehydrated soil exits the cooler by gravity via the transfer conveyor and proceeds to the stacking conveyor awaiting removal. The plant control system provides complete operational control from a central operating console. The control center utilizes the exclusive CMI Impulse computerized programmable logic system for all operational functions. The impulse system is programmed to interlock all startup operational and shutdown procedures. It continuously monitors all process data, individual component data, fuel and power consumption, water use, and process tonnages. Mounted on a portable frame, the control center can be positioned to give the operator an optimum view of plant operations through windows on all three sides of the control house. Midwest Soil Remediation Services provide a total process system plan encompassing all the allied support services and equipment necessary for complete, accurate, and predictable remediation from excavation of contaminated soil to final disposal of clean, usable processed material. When it comes to cost-effective, high-capacity thermal soil remediation programs, Midwest Soil Remediation is once again the industry's leading innovator.